terrorist, Seifulo Saipov, sentenced this afternoon to eight consecutive life sentences, plus two more that run concurrently, and 260 years, all of it in prison. All that for driving a truck down a bike path in Lower Manhattan on Halloween in 2017, killing eight people, injuring 18 others. Today, he faced the survivors and families of some of the people he killed. I'm going to see Andrew Burke at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Newt. Right, Bill, federal prison, he's never getting out. Ten life sentences in all, as you said, plus 260 years in prison. That is a life sentence with an exclamation point. When Saipov had the chance to speak today, he went off on a long, rambling rant in Arabic that sounded a lot like a justification for jihad. No explanation, no remorse. The survivors left the courthouse with the relatives of the victims without the apology they had demanded or the explanation they wanted so desperately to hear. Instead, Saifulo Saipov gave a rambling hour-long lecture on the Koran before Judge Vernon Broderick cut him off and imposed 10 life sentences and an additional 260 years in federal prison to make a point. The conduct in this case is among the worst, if not the worst, I've ever seen, he said. It happened on Halloween day in 2017. The massacre on the Hudson River bike path left eight people dead, tossed into the air or crushed beneath the wheels of a rented pickup truck. 18 others were injured. Some suffered traumatic brain injuries. Saifulo Saipov was arrested after he was shot in the abdomen by police. Prosecutors described him as a proud terrorist who meticulously planned the attack in the name of ISIS. He was later convicted, but the jury rejected the federal death penalty. In court, he was asked over and over why he did it, whether he regretted it, and whether he felt any remorse. Marion Van Reeth lost both her legs in the attack. After all this time, she asked, are you still convinced that your cruel act against innocent people was the right thing? Her husband suffered a fractured skull. It was you, Mr. Saipov, who was in the wrong place at the wrong time, he said. Why, Mr. Saipov, why? Most spoke directly to Saipov. I would like a minute or 30 seconds alone in a room to see how much of a man he is, said one relative. You are a coward. Another suggested Saipov's family might share the blame. If his relatives knew or could see that he was mentally unstable and radicalized and they did nothing about it, then they have blood on their hands too. It really reinvigorated my faith in the U.S. justice system. While it might not be perfect, you can rest assured whether you are a defendant or whether you are a prosecutor or a victim, the United States justice system will do well by you. The jury foreman is speaking publicly now for the first time. Again, the sentence in this case, 10 life sentences plus 260 years in federal prison. That's the longest sentence the judge could have imposed in this case.